my Tyranitar team is going to be strong enough to hold out. So let's see what he leads with. He leads with the Frostlass, and I actually think the Tyranitar has a pretty decent match against Frostlass. I mean, I might eat a Will O Wisp, but I will be, you know, breaking that sub first turn. Not not sub, but potential Sash through the use of my Sandstream. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is. I, I don't think there's a worst that could happen. I think I could eat a Will O Wisp, but then I'm still okay. So let's see what he goes for. I'm going Mega Titar, a Pokemon you rarely ever see in competitive singles. At least last time I checked. There's the Destiny Bond. Yeah, I expect a Destiny Bond. Uh, that's what I would go for, but it's it's whatever. Now let me let me know if I'm doing this right. I think that the Destiny Bond should no longer be in effect, right? It should not be in effect anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and hit him. <laughs> Actually, you know, I can just taunt him. I'm faster now. I can completely avoid this whole shenanigan. I can just taunt him. And if he wants to go for more Destiny Bonds... Oh, we tried to Spikes! Oh man, Frostless is just such a good Pokemon. It can Spikes, it can Destiny Bond, will wisp all those good moves. I'm surprised I never used it for VGC, because I actually really like it a lot. So, Crunch is going to come in here. Super effective on that guy's Ghost Typing. Oh, he's just going to withdraw. Who wants to eat this plus one stabbed Crunch from a Mega Titar? That is definitely the Pokemon to do it. Kind of makes me want to show him for Rock Slide. Oh, he said it's in effect? Well, good thing I went for Taunt, right? Bam, this is going to do about 20-30%. Oh, man, I could probably just go for another Crunch. How's it going, man? The Kid 252. And I got a defense drop. I'm just going to go for another Crunch. The reason why I'm going for Crunch is Crunch cannot miss compared to Rock Slide. Barred any, you know, Bright Powder shenanigans. I think I got the defense drop, so this is pretty much going to KO, yeah. Awesome, and I got a crit. Oh man, dude, Titar's feeling it. Am I gonna go for the 6-0 Titar sweep? That was the one Pokemon that was like the big problem. So we'll see if I can pull this one out. Weavile comes in, alright. Weavile can be a problem. I just gotta hit my Rock Slide. He can go for a Fake Out, just to waste turns on my Sandstorm. But we're just gonna go for a Rock Slide here. Brick Break from Weavile. Oh, Low Kick. Whoa, he's faster than me! Ugh, that sucks. You'll be on the battle list? Alright, I'll put you down. That sucks. Weavile's still faster. Well, sucks to suck. Alright, what do I want to come in with? I'll just come in with their main I did not think Weavile would still be faster. And he's, he's looks like he's orb, so it's not like he's like Scarfed or anything. No big deal. T-Tar goes down. Can't win them all. But their main will avenge me. Uh, if he wants to switch to anything, I didn't think he had like a Heatran or anything. So even if it's like a water type, it'd be taking huge damage from this. Yeah, Frost Lass is going to go down. Now the Weavile had uh, an orb, I thought. That wasn't Sandstorm that ticked him out. Sandstorm uh, went away. So Frostlass is going to go down on the switch in. He was probably just foddering the Frostlass. Maybe he was trying to switch in and set up something. I don't really know. But we'll see. Maybe Weavile come back out. I mean, it could be Scarfed Weavile, I think. That would be weird. I, I've i actually done that before. I used to do that all the time in Gen 4. It's time for Cloyster, huh? What can I actually do against a Cloyster? If it gets its shell smash up, what can I do? Can I do anything? I don't think I can do anything. I think I actually just lose to Cloyster. Alright. This is going to be neutral. Neutral damage. And he's going to get his shell smash off. Yeah. Let me see. Should I have switched? I don't know. I don't have a priority Pokemon on this team anymore. Hmm. I might have just lost to this Cloyster. That's fine. Clamp? What the hell? That's scary. I've never I've never been hit by that move. Alright, what's the what's the Pokemon we're sending out then? Sending out the Keldeo. I don't think he has anything that can KO a Keldeo in like one hit. Let's see. Keldeo live. I know Clamp's a water attack, but like isn't there a better one? There has to be a better one than Clamp. He's going for the Clamp! Oh my gosh. What does this even do? It clamped down. Alright, it didn't do anything. <laughs> I was like, does it paralyze? Does it flinch? Maybe it has King's Rock? I have no idea. I know there's a better water attack. I know there is. It's not Clamp. That's whatever. So, Cloyster goes down. Sweep avoided. Reverse sweep avoided for sure. I think it works like wrap. 
Eh, probably. Ludicolo. Alright, Ludicolo. Oh man, this is bad. I should probably just switch, so I will. Yeah, we'll switch out to Togekiss. Remember guys, if you want to play some games, leave your friend code below in a comment. Select a format, singles or doubles. The list currently actually isn't that long, so... There's always room to get in there. Yeah, it wrecked me when you were playing Elite Four. Yeah, it's the only times I remember it, like yellow version. Alright, we get the leftovers going. Hmm. I'll just air slash. I could T-wave, but I'm just going to air slash. I think he's going to switch. How's it going, Diamond? There's my air slash. Oh man, I'm faster. Which means my Serene Grace. Can we get Serene Grace? Oh no, we don't. Sad face. So Ice Beam's going to hit for super effective damage. Ow. At least it didn't freeze me. I'm glad that that did not freeze me. That would have made me pretty sad. We both have lefties. All right. How often do you see Woody Colo in singles? Man, that that just doesn't seem like a standard Pokemon. I mean, I used to use it all the time back in Gen 4, but uh, it's not Gen 4 anymore, guys. It's almost Gen 7 now. All right, what else is he have? I don't remember from the team preview all that well. He has that Weavile left. Weavile is definitely a problem. Hmm. Jaws. Oh, it's Sharpedo. All right, Sharpedo. Do you guys think Sharpedo's gonna like protect first turn? I think he might. Aha! He wants that speed boost. I called him on it. Goes with the correct plays and pops a roost. Get that full heal off, then we just T wave it and flinch him down into oblivion. All right. Awesome. That's what I want to see. And then speed boost. Yep. I forgot the people just use this Pokemon sometimes. I think it's a good Pokemon. I think more people should use it. I think Yaomega's better. Out of the speed boost Pokemon, like, Blaziken's banned, but Yaomega's just the best. Yaomega's so good. So he's going Mega Sharpedo this turn. Alright. I think he gains Strong Jaw. Is that his ability? I think he gets Strong Jaw. So he's going to be able to hit pretty hard. I think I can live, though, because it's not, like, it's not stab. Just live. Just live, like, one time. There we go. We take those. And I probably should roost. I probably should roost. The correct play would be to roost until um, until he paralyzes himself one time. But I'm not an asshole, so we're just going to air slash. And if I flinch him, I flinch him. If I don't, I don't. So that's what we're doing. I mean, I'm still kind of a jerk using String Grace Toga Kiss, but, you know. Yeah. I could be more of a jerk. At least this is giving him, like... I guess a shot, I guess. I, I really don't know. <laughs> I'm just going for what I'm going for, man. Yeah, he's just going to withdraw. Uh, Weavile will take an Air Slash. That's not good for him. Let's see. Weavile is definitely a problem. How do you enter? You just tell me, and I write your name down. Remember to add those friend codes up. Alright, can I live through an attack from a Weavile? That's possible. It's definitely possible. What do I got in the back? Oh man, I don't have that many good Pokemon in the back. Um, I'm just gonna do this to make sure. If he wants to go for it, you can go for it. He earned it. Yep, that's fine with me. Cool. I'll just come in with Keldeo. Keldeo will be able to wrap this one up pretty easy. Yeah, there's an orb. He had an orb the whole time. He was just faster than my T-Tar. Alright. Keldeo comes in. We just go for secret swords for days and we win. Pretty easy. It goes for a knockoff. Hey, that's gonna activate my justified. Oh man, how often do you see physical Keldeo? Alright. Keldeo's life orb gets knocked off. He takes life orb damage and I hit a secret sword. That actually did a lot, even though it's not very effective. I guess that would have crit I think I would have went with the icicle crash. I think I would have went with icicle crash. Because that is the percent chance to flinch. I think I would have went with that first. But that's just me. And then the last Pokemon is the Paralyzed Sharpedo. How the Mighty Have Fallen. Remember, after this, we got uh, Kikwau, I think. Yeah, you say GG, dude. Yeah, it's GG. Thank you for playing. If you want to play more games, your team definitely looks standard enough. So we can play more games later if you want. Yep, GG.
I'm always down to play more games with people. Alright, while we're here, I'm gonna go check out the recent followers. We got... We got... Diamond is the most recent follower this hour, so thank you for the follow, man. Really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the um, content.